do a mixed media bottle again with you all and this would be a start to finish video too so till now um i just didn't do much <laughs> i have taken a juice bottle um you know an orange juice bottle which you all can uh, clearly make out and i'm applying my homemade texture paste on it and purposely i have made this texture base to be very rough and granular because um, that was the look i wanted on the bottle i didn't want it a clean finished smooth look and uh, with the the palette knife i am applying it all over now this is uh, the bottle cap and i'm applying the texture base to that too to give it a rough look I'm gonna make uh, apply a big embellishment which you'll see now so I'm making a base for that and that is the soda bottle cap and I'm gonna fill that too up because I'm gonna add um, one of the embellishment that is here um, these are all the rubber uh, charms I get I got from one of my local grocery store and uh, these were perfect because um, it was a mixed media bottle and they were gonna end up uh, colored you know so and also they went very well with my theme um, and my theme was love because I wanted to give this bottle to my husband on my anniversary you know so uh, I'm adding some loose pearls with the applying a dab of texture paste down to make a base for the pearls. And applying them like in a very rough uneven manner all around. I'm just looking into the charms what I have some say hope some say um, friends forever and most of them uh, I had applied were of love you Now I'm adding some um, seashells I had got and I could not apply them as the pearls so I thought that it would be good to you know apply them with the hot glue because they're gonna make uh, the hot glue is gonna make it sturdier. I'm just filling up the space between the pearls and the charms. After um, the bottle was dried up, I think I had left it up for like a whole night and uh, then in the morning, um, you know, I started coloring it. I've decided that uh, I'll take black acrylic paint as the base and I somehow like the look of, uh, you know, black as a base because it gives a fantastic antique look and uh, You'll see in most of my mixed media projects that I use black acrylic paint as the base color of my project. It takes a while to color all the texture area so I did it off camera to save time. And here I'm coloring the cap. I didn't want it that green color to show up so um, trying to cover all the small nooks and all um, after drying the bottle looks like so and now I'm gonna use uh, certain colors um, one was cherry red this one is holiday red and the third one is the metallic red so three shades of reds gonna go on this bottle um, 
while I'm coloring you will be able to see that I'm mixing both the reds you know first of all um, like the I'm gonna do the non matte licks first because it really you know if you do the metallic color afterwards it will give out the effect very nicely the shimmer you want so uh, just now I'm just gonna do two shades of reds on the bottle to give it a very um, what do you call um, mixed colored finish a shaded colored finish you can say and I'm applying a very light coat of red because I wanted the black to show out finishing up the base Now I'm gonna take out the extra reds wherever you know I thought that uh, it got onto the bottle where I didn't need it so I'll just spray it with lightly and take it off with the paper towel Now when I'm happy, um, I'm just gonna do the metallic red all over and I'm just roughly, you know, with a very light brush, you know, light handed brush, I'm just gonna apply the red metallic paint all over. This is the best way to, you know, I just wanted to show that if we do not have any um, sprays you know we can do it on ourselves I mean with the acrylic paint you can get the same effect of the sprays so that's how the bottle looks and uh, now I'm gonna apply it all over with a gold rub and buff which would add to the antique look of the bottle the rub and buff uh, when you apply you know um, the charms which I had applied had some uh, sayings on it you know so it, it all came out very nicely as you all can see here so that's it and this bottle is you know very functional I had decided to give this to my husband because the cap opens up and what I was gonna do is I was gonna write him a message and I'm gonna roll it and put it inside the bottle and close the cap so this was like a perfect thing you know this project it's it has come out very 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 pretty and uh, hope you all like it and in hope you'll give it a try it's really very easy uh, and uh, you just need a need couple of things so uh, do give it a try and do let me know how your bottles came out okay so see you guys later bye for now